Welcome, my loves. If you found this video, I'm glad you're here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you guys are returning, welcome back. We appreciate you guys watching another video. Hopefully, everybody is happy, healthy, and well. So, guys, how are you guys feeling? I'm loving it. Happy birthday to all the cancers. Love you guys. I don't know what's going on with my light. It's been doing weird stuff for mm, a few minutes now. I was trying to get ready for us. Um, I've already prayed and saved off camera as I do almost every video. So we are just going to jump straight into some oracles. And we're going to start with the cosmic... Uh, is it cosmic tarot? Cosmic? What is it? The Cosmic Oracle Tarot Deck. Cosmic Insights. Yeah, let's call it that. All right. I hope everybody is living in their highest vibration. I do not have my mic on. Um, okay. Date night. Let's start with date night. Get ready to be wined and dined. Okay, okay, okay. But let's go ahead and um, shuffle the deck and see what comes out. That did flip out and I felt like it was for us. Break the deck on intuition and spy. Let's see what this going to be about, y'all. Mm, I don't know. Intuition. Your intuition is telling you something. Somebody is telling you somebody's spying on you. Listen to it. Follow it. Get in touch with it. Because, yeah... Only by trusting ourselves can we make better decisions. All right. Spirit, what do we need to know? What do we know? need to know? What kind of energies are surrounding our situations? We got let go. Make room for the new beginning that's on its way to you now. Baby, you see that butterfly? Butterfly. Butterflies are about transformation. Let that shit go. So what I feel when I touch this card, let go of trying to control the situation. Anything that the universe has for you is going to be for you, baby. It will never miss you. Even if it takes longer than you think. Mercury retrograde. Electronic issues, communication issues, renew review everything is this gonna be my reading y'all because i just told y'all i was having problems with my lamp i ain't had no problems with this lamp yet brand new how how i don't even know spirit give us more manifest yes Ooh. anything you want tell the universe you can have it baby you can have it it says tell the universe exactly what you want Get specific with that. Nothing is too big. Nothing is too small. Whatever it is that your heart desires, tell the universe. The universe is here to bring that to you. At the bottom of the deck, we have no. It's not the right time. So again, this feels like let it go. It's going to be in divine timing. It's not your timing, but divine timing. Whatever that is. If it's that new job, if it's that new car, whatever it is. It's not, it's not, the time ain't there yet. Just a little while longer. Just hang in there, but continue to manifest it. Okay? Because you can have it, but the universe wants it to be perfect for you. It was 404. It was 0404 on the timer when I said that. So look that number up. That number may be significant to you or your situation. Or there may be something in there for you that stands out. <clears throat> we see angel numbers in a lot of places if we pay attention. And as you get to be one with yourself and growing and healing, you'll see a lot more synchronicities and numbers like that. Spirit, what do we need to know about date night? Okay. A little trickster. I don't use this deck often. I used to use it kind of often, but I don't get this card. I don't think I've ever gotten this card, actually. 
in the months that I've used this deck, I've never gotten it. Little trickster. Okay. So something's a little tricky about date night. What else we need to know, Spirit? The Ace of Pentacles. There is an abundant beginning to a situation. The aces are about things that are new. Pentacles are about financial stability. So there is some kind of financial stability coming to you at this time. Just wait on it. Continue to manifest it. Because it's for you, baby. Okay, then. All right, say less. The universe wants us to know. The three of stores in reverse. The three of stores is a heartbreak, a disappointment. It does not always mean a third party. Maybe you didn't get that job that you thought you were qualified for or overqualified for. We have the fool. And she's not all the way naked, but I'm going I'm to pull my finger in a way that, you know, you can see it, but you can't see it. Okay? So... Maybe you guys chose not to go toward that job. Or maybe that job didn't choose you with it falling under the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles coming in. So, the Queen of Pentacles is someone that is Earth Energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Somebody that is stable financially. So you may be stable, but you may be looking for something else. This one wanted to flip. Let's see what this is. This is the Seven of Cups. There were some kind of illusions in a situation. Maybe, I don't know. Let's get more. Spirit, what about the Seven of Cups? Tell us more about the Seven of Cups, Spirit. What else should we know for Let It Go? Clarified by the Seven of Cups. We have the Sun. And it flipped out crossing, and I'm going to take it crossing. It flipped out like this, um, but I'm going to take it crossing. Crossing is what is challenging the situation, right? So I'm going to put it up there crossing. The Sun is happiness. There's some kind of illusion that is standing into you, in between you and ultimate happiness. I don't know what it is. I don't know your life. What I do know is this seems fixable. And I feel like it has something to do with your financial stability. So if you feel like you're not abundant right now or you're carrying that mind frame, we got to get out of that mind frame because you can have whatever you want. You just got to manifest it from the universe. You believe it. And when I say believe it, Nothing's too big for the universe, but you do have to be clear with the universe about what you want. So let go. It might be a uh, poverty mind frame that you're living in. That might be it. We do, we do have the Empress out here. The Empress is abundant. She's fertile. She makes things happen. You may be a business owner. You may feel like, and, and when I say this, I'm not saying it just for the women because men watch as well. You could be an empress energy. You may be about birthing new ideas. Wait, okay, she's covered. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, you may be birthing new ideas right now. You might be scared to step out on that limb, but that one thing might lead to your to your son, the ultimate happiness. So put your faith in you and manifest from the universe what it is that you want. Spirit, tell us more about this Empress to the Sun, the Page of Wands. You're passionate about whatever this is. Baby, put your all into it. Take that passion and move forward. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do it because you can do it. If ain't nobody going to tell you you can do it, I'm going to tell you. You got this, big dog. You got it. I'm right here with you. Sometimes it's hard to step out on faith. That was probably one of the hardest things I ever had to do was to open my own business. As an insurance agent for 16, 17 years, 
it was hard for me to go independent and not live on that regular paycheck. And then from that independence, I grew my own personal business. And now I own many businesses. <laughs> but you never see it coming until you get out your own way. And what I say, get out your own way. The moon and the three of cups. Okay, she, uh, I probably don't have to cover her. I'm gonna have to cover up like this. All right, all right, all right. We got the moon and the three of cups. The moon is something that's hidden. You don't even know how much happiness this brand new idea is gonna bring into your life. Like, you may start off like, okay, I can do this. I thought about doing it. I don't know what's going on with my light, y'all. I'm so sorry. I really don't. I don't know if we're having a storm because it did look like it was about to rain. But anyway, I'm going to get this message out to y'all. The moon is about things that are hidden. So whatever's hidden, you won't know until you unlock your greatness. But it's going to lead to a three of cups. A three, The three of cups is a celebration. So you will be celebrated for whatever it is that you're putting your all into. That alone, this, this, I'm happy for y'all. If y'all ain't happy, I'm happy, baby. I'm happy for y'all. Do that. Spirit, give us more. We have hope. It's in reverse. Y'all see, y'all see this. Stop second guessing yourself. You feel me? Once we get out our own way, nobody can stop us. And I, I feel this energy heavy on that card. We have the two of wands. It's coming in for you. It's going to come in. You know it's coming. You got this. Financially, you are able to manifest this new beginning that is going to bring you ultimate happiness. But with that happiness, you're going to have financial abundance. Spirit, give us more. Give us more. And that one, I accidentally shuffled back in. I did look away to the timer. Spirit, what else do we need to know? Excuse me. We won't shuffle that one back in. The Ace of Cups. You may find brand new love while you're doing this. You may find actual love or you may find that you really, really love this more than you ever thought you could. It's so easy to get up and work for somebody else every day and say, oh, next week, I'm going to put me first. I'm going to start my business. I'm going to think about a name. And then you look up, it's six months later. You still ain't picked your name. You ain't checked the state registry to see if your name is even available. But Meanwhile, every day you getting up, going to a job, punching somebody else's clock, and they giving you pennies. I ain't got nothing against it because everybody can't be a business owner. But this is, I'm speaking to somebody specific. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I'm speaking to somebody specifically that has that drive in them. We have the two of swords in reverse. You knew. You knew this was a decision you needed to make. You felt it. The universe been showing you, you be getting signs and synchronicities, baby. I'm on your neck. You know, the universe done let you know. You're going to be so abundant. You're going to be so great at this. And I love this for you. Whoever I'm talking to, baby, this is that. And I stand on it. We got the five of wands. This is conflict. I don't feel like this is conflict outside of you, though. I'm going to be honest. Y'all know one thing about me. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you how I feel it. When I touch these cards, what I feel, and sometimes I try not to be blunt, but I'm a, I am love y'all. Y'all know I'm a cancer, so don't get in your feelings. I feel like you're standing in your own way. I don't see nobody else out here. Nobody is out here but you. Baby, do that. Listen, this is what you do. You write down what it is you want. Write down five things that you want to accomplish with this new business, this new venture, whatever it is. Write down where you see yourself in five years. Fold it up. Close the envelope. Write the date on it. In six months, open it up and see how much you've accomplished. And yeah, I said see how much where you want to be in five years, but open it in six months. I can tell you because I've done this. I was at a church. And someone told me to write down my three biggest goals for that year. 
I wrote down buy a house create new incomes for myself so I could support my children because my husband had gotten killed if you've ever been on these videos yes my first husband got killed um, so I did the date thing and I think they said a year but I, for whatever happened something happened and I opened the, the envelope and it, it was a, like six months and a day I had accomplished half everything on my list and within that week I was signing for my first house when you get clear with the universe and you write it down and make it real, it comes to you because you're opening up yourself to grab it. You're telling the universe, I want it. And it's going to be, they're going to give it to you, period. And that's on me. And I've showed my children how to manifest this same way. Like, does it come when you want it? Not all the time, but you have to believe that it's coming. And like I said, I didn't see anybody else out here but you, baby. And still don't, because this is sweet happiness. This is your last card for this spread. Sweet happiness, little trickster and sweet happiness. Once you get out this little trickster energy, you are going to have ultimate happiness because this is where we started. This is where we end. We're going to end with happiness. I can't listen, baby. If I could write a book and have it like this, this would be amazing. The only thing is you got to believe it you have to believe it right and i did somehow skip our affirmation card for today in our affirmation <laughs> it goes right with it it says the power to change my world lies within me i can't make it up you see i ain't did nothing i just reached over picked up the card this was already our affirmation i had pulled before i ever did the spread it goes with it it says if you concentrate on the negative you will only see problems if you concentrate on the positive you will find solutions the power lies in your thoughts don't sabotage yourself for something that hasn't yet happened no baby I ain't gonna beat y'all y'all know I'll be true to anything that I'm reading about this is me too there's a new business venture that I have shied away from for about six months. Today is July. It's July for about eight months. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I fuck with y'all the long way. I rock with, I'm sorry. I rock with y'all the long way. I cuss in real life. Y'all figure this out. I have been getting so many signs that now's the time for me to push forward with it. I've been telling the universe I want it. I can do it. The universe has given me time to do this and I'm still like hesitant and scary. And as a cancer, I'm not knocking none of the cancers because I'm full-blooded cancer, baby, July, baby, July. Okay. I, I have gotten in my mind and talked myself out of it multiple times. Not that I ever felt like it was too hard to do. It just was like, what if I start doing it and I don't like it? I look for all the reasons not to. So as of this Tuesday, which was the 4th of July, I was sitting down. I had some moments to myself after I had meditated and I said, you know what? I'm going to start every time I have a negative thought, like why I might not start or why I shouldn't start. I said, I'm going to write a positive one in my phone. And because I have multiple numbers, I'm going to message it to myself. So when I go open my messages, I got to see it, right? Because I, I have business phones, so I have to read messages. <laughs> I don't read my emails, but I do read my messages. So, yeah. So this one is for you guys that are second guessing yourself. The universe has you. And I got your back too, baby. This has been your reading. I really appreciate you guys for making it through the video. If you vibrate with how I read, feel free to subscribe. If We may be part of your soul tribe. Phoenix Tarot Tribe is about people that counted us out thought we was dead they walked away thought we'd never be none but just like the phoenix we rose from the ashes we created something beautiful we continue to thrive if this sounds like you we may be your soul tribe i wish you guys love above all things and as always i wish you health wealth and prosperity but most of all i wish you abundance because it is here for you you just gotta claim it and believe it and stand on it baby so until next time, I love you guys.